bartender. Could I get an apple teeny, please, with a wedge of lime? That was. Hey, folks. Santee from the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got more mail. Santee, you make lots of jokes about whiskey and seem to drink it a lot. Do you have a problem, Lindsay? Thank you, Lindsay. I don't have a problem. It's all good. So, today we're going to talk a little bit about whiskey in the Old West. Pull up a bar stool and pour yourself a shot. And let's get to John. Whiskey, this is the day we strike it rich. On the western frontier, good quality spirits weren't readily available, forcing saloon owners to be creative. Distilleries were turning out neutral grain spirits, which probably tasted a little like turpentine or rubbing alcohol. Many saloon keepers would flavor that with tobacco juice, burnt sugar, chili peppers, and even snake heads. Of course, you could ask for the good stuff and get a rye whiskey distilled in the eastern U.S., but that would be a pricier choice. What's this? That's the good stuff. Some of the distillers of the era are still in production today. Brands like Old Granddad, Old Taylor, Old Overholt, Old Crow, and Old McDonald, who had a farm. Okay, maybe not the last one. There were some that didn't have the word old in the name, like Kessler and Jack Daniels. Some colorful monikers for whiskey were Coffin Varnish, Tarantula Juice, Tangle Egg, Fire Water, Stump Juice, and Red Eye. <laughs> Drinking alcohol was considered somewhat healthful since water sources could be contaminated with nastiness like cholera. Whiskey was also the base for many medicines of the time and used for curing everything from coughs to snake bites. Whiskey! What? Did anybody see my horse? He went that away. Ministers preached against drunkenness but not drinking. However, by the late 1800s, the temperance movement was well underway to keep America sober. It didn't work. Well, that's it, folks. Hope you learned a little something about whiskey in the Old West. Next week, we'll be coming to you with another episode, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. Here's the good stuff. May it last a long time.